Hello my beautiful friends and welcome back to another video. Today I am sharing with you everything that I ate at home from Monday through Friday. This video is also very kindly brought to you by my friends at Squarespace who have created an all-in-one platform to help you build a beautiful online presence and run your business. So Monday morning started in a classic way at 9am with a bagel. On this bagel I put some vegan cream cheese as well as some smashed avocado which I had just smashed with a little bit of lemon. Then on top I added some vegan feta. This was a vegan lemon and dill feta. So incredibly good. And then on top I put some snow pea sprouts. And of course to go with my bagel to balance out the sweet and the savory I had had to have an iced cacao. This is an iced cacao on oat milk and then I squeezed some lime juice on top of my bagels and that was my breakfast. Then at 1 p.m. I didn't know what I wanted except I knew I wanted potatoes. So I roasted up some potatoes and a little bit of olive oil and Italian herbs and then decided I would turn it into a chickpea omelet which is my go-to breakfast lunch everything at the moment you've probably seen it all over my instagram and in today's chickpea omelet i put some roasted potatoes as well as fried broccolini and barbecue sauce i love chickpea omelets at the moment because they're super delicious and nutritious and they keep me really full and my housemate and i were in the mood for some classic nachos so i decided to make some nachos with smoky black beans and as well as that i also put some salsa as well as a homemade cashew sour cream some vegan cheddar that i had in the fridge and some guacamole again such a nostalgic delicious meal so Tuesday morning came around and once again I made a chickpea omelet but in this one I decided to fry up some spring onions as well as cherry tomatoes and spinach and then on the omelet as well I decided to add some vegan cream cheese I then added my spinach and tomatoes and again nourishing delicious nutritious everything that I want from my food at 11 a.m. Uh, I started to feel hungry so I decided to have some yellow neck nectarines with some almond butter drizzle on top which was a really nice snack and then at 2 p.m i was in the mood for a salad i am really loving couscous at the moment as like a really hearty delicious salad addition and so in this salad i had some crispy kale couscous sweet potatoes some fried chickpeas i then also added in some sun-dried tomatoes and i tossed this all together with my hands of course you know i love to use my hands when I am cooking. Then I simply squeezed some lemon juice on top and it was packed full of flavor. That night I had a movie night with one of my friends via FaceTime and so I had a little vegan cheese chocolate fruit grazing board moment with some kombucha. Honestly it was so iconic and before we move on to wednesday i want to say a quick word about my website which i created with squarespace as someone who is not graphic or web design savvy i have found using squarespace to be so easy and very very user friendly there are ridiculously straightforward blogging tools and when i say ridiculously straightforward I mean ridiculously straightforward. I use them to post and share and schedule recipes. And as well as that, I really love the fact that Squarespace make it really easy for me to link my social media to my website. So whether you are a creative or you're a business owner or you are both, Squarespace is the perfect place to seamlessly design your website. You can head to squarespace.com for a free trial and when you're ready to launch, you can go to squarespace.com slash Amanda Ducks and you will save 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. Okay, let's move on to what I ate on Wednesday. So on Wednesday morning, I was feeling some fresh fruit and I started by slicing up a mango as well as some passion fruit. Then I also sliced some strawberries as well as yellow nectarine. And these are like my favorite fruits. They really are all of my favorite fruits. Wow, love that for me. Then I also added some coconut yogurt and that was my breakfast. 
At 11 a.m. I started to feel hungry, so I once again made myself a chickpea crepe. This one I had with an iced cacao and I had some spinach, tomato, and vegan feta in again. Sweet and savory, balancing it out. At 2 p.m. I started to feel hungry again. I had some bread in the freezer and so I decided to toast it put some vegan butter on, put some peanut butter on. I personally love butter then peanut butter on toast. And then I had some nectarines on the side as well. Then for dinner, I was feeling a really big salad moment. I started with some cos lettuce, which I massaged some tahini dressing through. Then I also added some crispy kale as well as spring onions, some cherry tomatoes as well as crispy chickpeas. And then I added some vegan feta, which I appear to be loving this week. And that was my dinner. Okay, moving on to Thursday morning and I decided to trial a recipe for some buckwheat sweet crepes. Didn't perfect this recipe so I'll definitely share it in another one once I do, as in I'll share it in another video once I do. I made two of these with the mixture and then I filled them with some fresh strawberries as well as some natural coconut yogurt. And yeah, these were really, really delicious. They just weren't the perfect texture yet. And of course, I wanna make sure that I get the recipe perfect. Before I share it with you, I recently bought a non-stick pan and it has changed my crepe game. Okay, moving on to lunch and I was in the mood for a chickpea tempeh wrap. So a chickpea tempeh wrap I had. I started with some vegan cream cheese as well as some cos lettuce and coriander. Then I added some fresh cucumber, fresh tomato as well as some cracked black pepper. Then I added the chickpea tempeh on top and I rolled this baby up. I recently said in a video that if you've worked in hospitality, you probably know how to roll a wrap like this. And look, I'm pretty sure that I completely nailed it. This was a really refreshing and nourishing and just quick and easy lunch. So I loved it very, very much so. Okay, moving on to my afternoon snack and I made these iconic cookies. If you make anything from these video, this video, you need to make these cookies they are so good they are like a double chocolate fudge brownie cookie i love them so much the recipe is on my website it's linked down below please try them and please let me know what you think i'm actually so proud of this recipe okay moving on to dinner and i decided to make some gnocchi for myself and cara my housemate this gnocchi was just store-bought but then i also made a creamy sun-dried tomato uh, pasta sauce to go with it which was really really yummy it was one of my first times making this kind of sauce and i really really enjoyed it so then i decided to heat it up in a pan with with the cooked gnocchi again this recipe is on my website and i really encourage you checking it out i hope you'll love it as much as i did um, because yeah it was really really delicious and it's really nice when you feel proud of a recipe you know okay moving on to friday morning and i decided to make myself an acai bowl i put some soy milk as well as cacao powder and frozen banana and a sachet of acai in a blender blended it all together until it was really nice and smooth. This was such a creamy and beautiful mixture. On top of my acai bowl, I then also put some chocolate granola, which was just a store-bought chocolate granola. I then added some fresh strawberries and some peanut butter, and it was a really, really fresh and delicious start to the day. And then for my morning snack, I decided to have an iced cacao as probably could have been guessed at this point. I had this one on soy milk and of course it was very, very delicious as usual. And then for lunch, I decided to make a creamy coconut lentil thing that I've been really enjoying and really enjoying experimenting with. I decided to serve this with some yellow rice, which again, I have been really, really enjoying making yellow rice at home. I served the creamy coconut lentils on top and then I also put some coconut yogurt on top of this as well. And it was really filling and nourishing and delicious, which is amazing. Okay, then we move on to dinner. And for dinner, I decided to trial a recipe, which is for a creamy white bean 
sauce that I then put into a bake with some veggies. So today I just decided to trial it with some broccoli as well as some cauliflower, which I just chopped up into florets. And then, yeah, I put this into the oven and I baked it all together with the creamy sauce. And that brings us to the end of what I ate from Monday to Friday this week. So I really hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you very soon for another one. Thank you for being here. Have a really beautiful day.